Hello everyone, Kilikado Wine here playing Pro Cycling Manager 2017. And you can see it here, La Vuelta, Vuelta España, it is coming up next. Uh, let's look at the profile uh, team time trial, first stage, uh, then a flat stage, and then a mountain stage on the third stage. So that will be in this episode, I think. And then uh, flat, hilly with a very very nice hill there to ascend, short but uh, steep it looks like. Uh, hilly on stage 6. Uh, cobblestones here towards the end as well, on a hilly stage 7. Hilly stage 8, so that finish looks tough. Uh, stage 9 also hilly, and uh, uphill towards the end. Stage 10 hilly, but with a flat finish. 11 mountain. 12 hills again, flat 13 and 14 mountain finish, 15 mountain finish, but not very, not very difficult climb, but long, but not very difficult climb. Uh, 16, that's the time trial, individual time trial. I would have liked to see a bit more uphill, 41.1 kilometers, so it's it's nice. Uh, mountains on stage 17. Hills on 18, hills on 19, then a, the biggest mountain stage on 20, and I'm gonna say flat on uh, on the last one. So that is what we have to look forward to. We can see that Richie Port is the champion at the moment. Pino Barde also on the podium. So what uh, what will we be sending here? We will be sending. Uh, Jennison, but that is the only real helper in the mountain I will get. Uh, Guerrero might be able to help a little bit, depending on his form. Uh, Pichon maybe as well. Even if his mountain skills are not that good, his hill stats are good, so maybe he could help a little bit. Would have liked to see some more uh, that are good in the mountains. Uh, Falu, Bue, Sepulveda, of course, would have been nice. But we will need to make do with what we have. Ooh, um, team time trial, my my fitness peak is almost there. We are at 83.7 points. So it will hit uh, in a few days. I guess that is fine. We are slightly tired, we are actually very tired, oh, we are going to be so tired towards the end of Vuelta España. But nothing we can do about that now. Uh, let's look at the time trial team. Um, we can see that we are the best, no one else is really skilled in time trial, so we need to take a lot of time in front on this first stage. So, start, start, start. Come on. There we go, we are starting, I'm gonna go 85 effort, I think, will be fine for me. Uh, I'm gonna just get the uh, one chance at the front of my team, so I need to make sure that I do a strong pull here. Uh, team Lotto, Jambu, uh, Lotto NL Jambu is in the lead at the moment, but only six teams have finished. We are the 14th team to start. Come on, now we are doing our job. Uh, can I can I move away? Nope, I need to have myself marked. I cannot mark anyone else in the team. Um, there we have it. We have done our part at the front. Will this be... Uh, we are not amongst the favorites. We are actually expected to not place very well here today, so... Top 10 would be an achievement, but uh, it looks like there will not be great time losses. We can see Team Sky takes the lead. Three and a half kilometers left to go. Come on, team. Why are they spending so much time in front? Can I, can I lower this to make the others go less time in front? Nope, I can't doesn't really matter it seems. 
you know, cross the finish line. We are in second to last place. Second to last place, 27 seconds behind. Ooh, now it is 36 seconds behind as the BMC takes the lead. This is not a good start to the Vuelta. First stage is over. We went to France for that stage. Uh, our team came in 19th place out of 22. 36 seconds behind BMC. You can see FTG got the same time as them. Astana, Team Sky. Second stage have started. Um, nine people went into the breakaway. Bonamour is our hope in the breakaway. Uh, do not think the breakaway will hold on stage two. That seems highly unlikely. Uh, it's going to be a sprint finish today. Uh, maybe I will try to attack on the last climb. See if we have the strength for that. Uh, so I will see you towards the end of this stage because I do not think anything interesting will happen before that. Okay, that uh, final climb, we are at it. We're gonna see if we can attack, but the pace is super high. Wow, now Martin or oh, everyone, they will not let us get away here. Uh, the sprint, we need to save ourselves because we used up a lot of uh, red bar. Can we at least get a top 10? That would be a great accomplishment. But it looks like it's going to be impossible. Pichon, on the other hand. Pichon might actually do this. No, only 6th place. Uh, Kittel and Evan, was, they were too strong at the end. And we're going to place top 30, maybe. 22nd place. Okay, well, uh, that's not too bad, actually, for a non-sprinter like, like me. Uh, second stage, we can see Roman Bardet had to withdraw. Uh, a bit sad about that, but also uh, one competitor less. Uh, Niklas Roche was way, way behind. Uh, he must have had some problems with his bike or maybe a fall. Uh, welcome to the third stage of Vuelta Espana. We are starting in France, but going to Andorra. The stage will end in Andorra today. Uh, first mountain stage, and we have three tough climbs, one early on and then two late in the stage, but it ends in a downhill. Uh, we are having a plus one day, so we are quite... Uh, yeah, we, our attributes have improved quite a lot. Very happy to see that, because our fitness peak is still not here. I think it will be two or three more stages until it hits. Uh, maintain position, I'm gonna have Jenison protect me today. And uh, I feel that uh, we, we should just try and survive today, at least until that uh, third climb. And we are in the second climb of the day, and the pace have been rather high. I had to use 90 effort just to stay in this position here. So you can tell the pace is intense, very, very intense. Uh, must be a lot of great climbers in this race. Must be a lot of them. Um, looks like it's slowing down a little bit. That's good for us. Uh, would be nice if we could improve our position a little bit before the pace gets high again. Uh, we can see it's Kangert, the uh, Meskek, Gerens, Frank, Van der Gerden. And we can see 90 and uh, it's blinking again. That means they are going at a pace so high that 90 effort is not enough for me to maintain my position. That. <laughs> What the hell is happening? Am I this weak? Or... Yeah, it must be. Uh, my tiredness level is over 50. So maybe that is it. Maybe I'm just too tired to be able to compete here. The climbing is on again. We are 43 riders going into this climb, but I guess that will change very, very soon. Because this is... Uh, very very difficult climb 
and uh, I feel like the pace will be high again. I'm gonna go with 89 effort. Hopefully that is enough. Uh, soon we will see the favorites move. Uh, Menches. We see that Froome is up pulling. Froome is at the front. Uh, we are not able to keep position because 89 effort is not enough on our rider at the moment. Uh, let's do a 95, see if we can survive this. Adam Yates. Uh, Adam Yates is attacking. We are improving our position a little bit. Maybe the pace slow down. Uh, Mollema and Port. Richie Port is at the lead. Who are they riding for? Are they not riding for Port? Or is... Yeah, they might... Port might just be, be willing to go very, very hard here. We managed to survive. We managed to stay with the favorites. Uh, we are a big group of riders. A bit surprised that you are so many, but I guess the favorites didn't see an opportunity to to really go for it, even if they turned the heat up quite a lot. Uh, energy gel, please. Energy gel. And uh, not a lot left to go, two and a half kilometers. It is going down downhill, so we are closing in on the goal line very, very fast. They are starting the sprint. I should start the sprint. Uh, can I at least get a top 10? Top 10 looks very, very possible. Feline wins Pantano, and we are in 10th place. Wow. Uh, difficult stage, but... Uh, at least we survived uh, the first onslaught of the of the favorites. It, so what does that mean? It means we are in 10th place on the stage and uh, we improve our position in the general standings a little bit. Uh, 34th place, 36 seconds behind. Uh, and it's actually David Godot in the lead, 21 years old. That is impressive, but we see FTSE dominated dominate the standings at the moment. Uh, don't think that they will last that long because there should be other teams that are stronger, have stronger riders. Um, fifth place for the youth jersey. This should be an interesting battle. We can see that Latour is seven seconds behind us and i think out of these people i would hold latour as the biggest competition okay uh, miguel angel lopez as well because the others are not that strong in time trial uh, miguel angel lopez and latour should be the main competition for the youth jersey and i guess the youth jersey is the most likely target at the moment uh, Maybe we can go into a breakaway at this point and get a few mountain points. That would actually be quite nice. We will see if that is possible. Uh, end of the episode, but we're going to look at uh, this. Finishing the top 30 in the final overall standings. We are close to that at the moment. At the, I also wanted to see if we can see there we have it. what it takes to unlock Tour de France. Uh, make the top five of a major classic or grand tour. Win a stage or distinctive jersey on a grand tour. So, if we could win a stage, that means we would be allowed to go to Tour de France. That uh, that is a nice goal for us to have. Top five in the general classification, a jersey or just win a stage. That's uh, that's something to aim for. Uh, more racing from Vuelta Espana in the next episode. Until then, I'm Kille Cow Divine. Thank you all for watching.